Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create caricature cartoon effect in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into making selection using select subject and pen tool, creating caricature effect with the use of liquify, free transformation command and warp, applying animation with the use of filters like surface blur, oil paint, poster edge filter, and camera raw filter. So let's get started. So here in our document, I prepared here a portrait image of this man. The first step we're going to do here is we're going to select subject to extract it from the background. So to do that, going onto the layers panel, select on the background layer, go to the menu bar, and then choose on select, and then choose subject. Now, once we already have a selection on our subject, now let's press Ctrl plus J to create a layer of the subject of its own all right and then let's hide this background layer okay and now we're going to apply here the caricature effect so we're going to use liquify here so with that layer selected go to the menu bar go to filter and then choose on liquify this with liquify window will appear and by the way if you find this video helpful so far Please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, going back, so for the caricature effect, all we have to do with the use of liquify is to exaggerate the parts of the man's face. Okay, so to do that, going on to the face tool, yes, this one, or press A for the shortcut key, and let's go to the properties. From the face of our liquify, let's go down to eyes, click this one, and then from the eye size, all right, so I'm going to select on this chain and then I may now start resizing the eyes. All right, so I'm going to set this one to 100. Okay, from the height, I'm going to. Okay, so select on this chain like, all right, so that both arts are affected with the effect. Okay, also here, click this one for the eye width. Yes, there are creating a bigger eye, right? Okay, for the tilt, never mind. Let's go to the nose, click this one. For the nose height, okay, I'm going to increase this one. I want to create a big nose here. All right, for the nose width. And then for the mouth, click this one. All right, for, if you want to give a smile, you can adjust that. So let's go to the upper lip. Let's make that bigger. There you go. Set 200. Lower lip, let's also make it bigger. But this time, we're going to decrease the amount to make it bigger. All right, something like that. For the mouth width, we'll also increase the size to 100. Mouth height, let's increase that one. All right, there you go. That's looking funny, isn't it? All right, so once you're good with it, hit OK. All right, so the effect is already applied here. Now, the next step here is we're going to make his neck thin and then make the head bigger. All right, so to do that, we're going to make use of a path tool. So with this layer selected, press P for the pen tool. On the options layer, it's set to path, and then let's create some path around the. All right, so once we're already close to selection, now right click on it and then choose make selection. This dialog box will appear for the further radius, set this one to zero pixels, and then hit OK. And now, once we already have a selection around the body, now let's invert the selection that so that we can create. A layer of the head to invert that press control plus shift plus I all right so as you have noticed here the selection is already on the top part on the head now let's press control plus J to create the layer of the head so there you go that's what we already have here all right now the next step here is that we're going to select on this layer because we're going to make the neck thin so to do that press control plus T from this layer selected, uh, right? Then right click on it and then choose warp. And then from the options panel under the grid, click this one and then choose four by four, right? And then we may now start warping the neck, making it thin. Now that's fine with me. Now hit enter. All right, now the next step here is we're going to increase the head size. So let's go here on this layer. Right, that's the head layer, right? Press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command. And let's just increase the size. All right. So if you think that looks cool, 
Now hit enter. All right, so we're done doing the caricature. Now the next step here is we're going to apply the cartoon effect. Okay, so but before we do that, from this head layer and this body layer, right, we're going to merge these ones. Press Control, hold it, and select on the head layer. There you are. And then right click and then choose on Convert to Smart Object. There you are. All right, so they are already into one layer. Okay, now the next step here is that we're going to apply the filter. So the first filter we're going to apply here will be the surface blur. Okay, so with this layer selected, go to the menu bar, go to filter, go to blur, and then choose on surface blur. All right, so this dialog box will appear. So I'm going to set the radius to 20 pixels, the threshold to 10 levels. All right. Actually, this one will create a smoothing effect on our subject. Okay. All right. And then after that, hit OK. Now it's already applied. Now the next step here is that we're going to apply the oil paint filter. So still with that layer selected, let's go to the menu bar, go to filter, and then go to stylize, and then find oil paint. All right. So this oil paint dialog box will appear. So for the stylization, I'm going to set this one to 6. Okay. All right, so you can see the effect here from the effect that you want on the outcome. Yes, this one. All right, for the cleanliness, I'm going to set this one to 8. For the scale to 0 0.1, bristle detail to 0. All right, so once you're good with it, hit OK. There we go. Okay, and the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of this. So to do that, with that layer selected, press Ctrl plus J. There you go. Okay, so from this top layer, we're going to apply here the poster edge. So with that layer selected, let's go to the menu bar, go to filter, and this time go to filter gallery. This window will appear. So let's go to the poster edge. You can find the poster edge to artistics, then find poster edge. So from the properties of it, so I'm going to set the edge thickness to 6, edge intensity to 2, and posterization to 1. All right. Okay, so it's trying to create an effect like that. Once you're good with it, hit OK. All right, and then after this, from this layer on top, we're going to adjust the fill. So go here, click this one, and then decrease the slider into the amount that you are satisfied with. Okay, so I'm good with around 35. All right, there you are. Now the next step, we're going to merge these two layers and make it as a smart object. So select it on this layer, press control, select it also to the other layer, this one here. All right, so they are now both selected. Now right click on that and then choose convert to smart object. So those two layers will turn into one layer. There you are. And the next step here is that we are going to apply the camera raw filter. So with this layer selected again, go to the menu bar, go to filter and then choose camera raw filter. So for this one, it's up to you on how to adjust to modify your image, creating a cartoonish effect, okay? All right, so I'll start with the temperature. I want to make the image warm. Set this one to around 25. Yes, I'm good with that. Okay, let's go down. Let's go to exposure. Let's add a little bit of exposure here. Yes, point 40 is fine. Contrast, let's add this one. Okay. 40 is good for me. Highlights. I'll set this one to 10. All right for the shadows. I'm going to decrease this one to the amount of 15. For the whites, decrease this one to amount of 10. Black, set this one to amount of 15. There you are. Looking good. Okay, so let's go to the texture. Increase this one a bit to 20. Clarity to 10. All right, that's cool. Then let's go to saturation. I'm going to increase the saturation to give more color on our image. Okay, so I'm going to set that to 25. That looks fine to me. All right, for the vibrance, I'm going to decrease this one so that it will make a balance from the saturation. All right, that's it. So once you're good with that, hit OK. All right, so one last step here is that we're going to add a solid background. So to do that, go to the background layer, select that, go to the 
adjustment layer icon and then choose on solid color right now you can apply the color that you want as your background right so for me i'm going to set this one to yellowish color right something like that i'm good with this hit okay and that's it now let me show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to create caricature cartoon effect in photoshop